Can I have your name? I am Justin Rowland, J-U-S-T-I-N-R-O-W-L-A-N-D, or Malakotan Zitrala Wichasha. I grew up in Wounded Knee, South Dakota, where I tell our, our version of our stories that's been whitewashed or erased from U.S. history. Uh, wounded Knee? Wounded Knee, Chunk Playoffee in our language. Wounded Knee Creek. Okay. Is that where you still live there? Uh, this past two years, I've kind of been wandering since I left the res. I've stopped in Minnesota for a while. So when this all happened, I showed up in April 26. It was my first time showing up. And ever since, I've made it like a lot of trips back and forth from the Twin Cities to here. Okay. Yeah. So you've been on some of the protests on the pipeline and stuff? Uh, in the beginning. But now there's enough people here, I don't think I should have to go every time. Right. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't go at all anymore. <laughs> I don't want to get arrested. Well, what do you think of uh, what's been going on in the camp? What do you think of the movement? I mean, you've had some success now since, uh, you know, for a while there, it was all over Facebook. But nobody was covering it and all that stuff. The media wasn't covering it. And but as soon as the judge ruled in Washington on the, the lawsuit to stop the thing, and then Obama, the Obama administration came out and issued a press release and barely halted the pipeline. Uh, that kind of, I guess, uh, that was kind of a temporary, at least short-term success. So that got covered by everybody. I mean, every, New York Times, Washington Post, Reuters, you know, everybody covered it because there was legal official document action in Washington. So the story is really out there now. But uh, just talk to us about, about the cause and, and everything. What it's been like living in the camp and staying in the camp. It is our treaty right to defend what is ours, our rights, which is our treaty rights. And the treaty is the supreme law of the land. And America has still yet to honor their, their treaties with uh, indigenous peoples of this continent. The First Nations they signed treaties with us. First Nations people. Right. Indigenous people. Uh, this Dakota Access Pipeline is an expansion pipeline. And they're not going to clean up, these companies aren't going to clean up their old mess. They're going to leave it. And they're going to put up their big new mess. A whole new one, which is this pipeline, this, this black snake that threatens us now. Most people in America live in a lie, an illusion. I call it a bubble. I like breaking those bubbles. Wake up. Uh, use their conscious thinking, actually. Uh, so indigenous people, we are the conscience of this, of this continent. Man, we hold those keys to God's gate. With those happy hunting grounds, that is ours. That is ours. We protect that. And we are we are less than 1% of this total continent. Yeah. We are the people who own most of the mineral rights. Our, our first treaty in 1851 is the, is the Louisiana Purchase. The boundaries in that? That is all a treaty territory, the whole entire Louisiana Purchase. It has all been stolen from us, swindled away from us. And we were forced into little concentration camps, just like Palestinians or Jewish people, little concentration camps called reservations. And this movement here is like us, our indigenous people, leaving the reservations. It's probably time for us to leave, to leave that concentration camp. It's because the, continu the continuation of the Holocaust that has hit us in the beginning is still happening. Um, or Jeppe Shaka, I mean, the seven council fires. For our people, it is our our form of government and organizing. We organized uh, our people. And apparently we were good at it. So that's so, what we're trying to do now. So whose land is this? It is treaty land. The entire continent is treaty land. So anywhere we go, we are reestablishing, we are reclaiming our lands, what continues to be occupied by European Americans. This is our land that is being occupied, but we are reclaiming it. We have the absolute use of the land, fishing, hunting, everything, collecting wild berries and wild game. Just, we have the absolute use to it. So the parks, we can go in there because we are tribal people. We can go and do what we want in those parks, any park across America. Any part we can collect our medicines and collect. We can live there. It is our treaty right to use that land 